do we just want to, I don't know, help push the voice of the students? Because I guess when you're 16, 15, 14, 17, any of those teen years, uh, you can't vote. So apparently your opinion is like, not there. I feel that student voice goes largely inherent, not just around the world, but in Ontario specifically. The thought that um, teenagers are apathetic towards politics is a misconception. Pursue your dreams and hopefully get this whole situation taken care of at some point. So, yeah. My name is Andre Lopez. I go to the student school in Toronto. Um, and basically what we're doing here is we're having a little party. We invited a lot of um, high school students and we're learning about workers' rights and what and politics, current politics. I think the youth, adolescents, teenagers or whatever, I think they have some of the most Remarkable ideas that can't be heard because you're told you're small and little. People always say, you know, children, you know, students are the future. They're our most important asset. But that's not something I believe because I feel as students, as youth, our, our voice goes largely unheard, especially here in Ontario. And it's time for us to speak up. I think we can win that voice. We can win our say, uh, win back our education, protect the rights of workers, our teachers, and make this a better country for both us, our children, everyone to live in. Students Against um, Migrant um, Workers and Exploitations, um, we're, we're definitely a part of that because um, we had, a, we had um, a, a filming of El Contracto where we, we heard um, a person from that organization speak and all the students were incredibly moved um, by the stories that we heard um, and we want to support them as en in any way we could and most of us didn't know that there was modern day slavery happening right here in Ontario. Get involved now so that you can affect change so that when so that when you actually become a worker, um, you have better working situations. Everyone deserves to live free in equality. Everyone deserves to create a better world for their children.